Hello, and welcome to Russia Ukraine News, where we cover every latest on Russian invasion on Ukraine. Please make sure to subscribe and like the video. A Russian checkpoint in the Kursk region close to the Ukrainian frontier was shelled on Friday, a regional official stated, in the latest signal, that the war is spreading past Ukraine's borders. The governor of Russia's Kursk area, Roman Starovit, stated in an announcement at the Telegram messaging app that mortar shells had been fired on the checkpoint with inside the village of Krupets, near the Ukrainian metropolis of Sumy, at round 8 a.m. nearby time. Starovit stated Russian border guards and army suppressed the firing positions with retaliatory hearthplace. There had been no casualties or harm, he wrote. He did not make clean if the shells have been fired from inside Ukrainian territory, and it become now no longer recognized if there had been any casualties at the Ukrainian side. It's now no longer the primary time that Russian officers have accused Ukraine of shelling checkpoints and Russian targets throughout the border, along with in the Kursk area. There have additionally been some of mysterious incidents on Russian territory, such as an explosion and blaze at an oil depot and harm to a railway line. Although Kyiv denied responsibility, a Russian defense ministry spokesman in advance this month blamed the attacks on Ukrainian forces and threatened to strike decision-making centers in Kyiv in retaliation. On April 6, Starovit accused Ukrainian forces of firing at frontier guards with inside the Kursk area. Yesterday, they attempted to fire mortars at the location of our border guards with inside the Sidzansky district, the local governor stated on the time. Russian border guards backfire, there had been no casualties or harm on our side, Starovit wrote. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov defined that alleged incident as serious. Newsweek has been not able to independently verify the reports. According to the Russian-language Navias Vestia media outlet, Ukrainian forces this week fired mortars on the villages of Nikodayevka, Zhurovlyovka, and Golovchino with inside the Belgorod area, and fired at a checkpoint with inside the Bryansk area. Starovit stated on April 25 that Ukrainian drones had been shot down in the area by Russian air protection structures. Today, at 4.15 Moscow time, 0115 GMT, the groups of Russian air protection structures shot down Ukrainian drones over the village of Borovskoye, Rilsky district, the governor wrote at the Telegram messaging app. There are no casualties, injuries, or destruction. The state of affairs is completely under control, he added. Blasts were heard in the Russian metropolis of Kursk this week, with video published on social media purportedly displaying the explosions. A nearby Telegram channel put up stated that four Russian army personnel had died in the Kursk explosion, even though this has now no longer been showed, and Starovit stated there had been no casualties, Newsweek formerly reported. The local governor wrote in a put-up on his Telegram channel that the explosions occurred at 2.45 a.m. on Wednesday, April 27, and that the info of the incident are being clarified. So guys, with that we have come to an end of this edition of the news. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.